Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing well and happy to learn together. In this video, I am going to explain the steps which we are going to follow to send an Adobe form through the Auditor service. This is a very quick video because we have already seen this process with a, for doing uh, sending an image or a smart form PDF. Uh, through o data service so i don't want to waste your time so very quickly i'm going to explain the steps and uh, how to um, call or how to generate the pdf for your adobe form that is very simple how you done through a driver program if you're going to call a adobe form same open form same or closed form and everything so nothing much okay so that's what i'm saying is very quick video because at least at least this is the third time we are going to see uh, to send a particular object through a get stream method okay let's get into the slide so these are the steps which we are going to do it in the odata level so you have to create a project and the project has the entity type make sure the entity type has the media type or media option checkbox as enabled and keep your Adobe form ready um, with the design and whatever logic you want to implement through an interface or if you want to write a code, it depends on your requirements. So keep your uh, Adobe ready. And then um, OData, we are going to redefine the get stream method, which we have done it for image and smart form output. We are going to do the same for Adobe as well. Inside this get stream, we are going to write the code, which we are going to call the Adobe form. It's like uh, FP open close uh, function modules and a function model which calls actually the Adobe. So everything we are going to done under this get stream method. And the URI of this particular uh, process is um, entity set. And then within bracket, if you want, to, uh, if you have a key fields, you can just enter the value of your key fields. You put a single or multiple, and then slash dollar value. Okay, so if the dollar value is the triggering point which calls the get stream method if it is a dollar value is missing then you're trying to call your get entity or get entity set method probably you will get an error because we are not going to redefine those two methods for this process and uh, yeah in the get stream you know how to uh, convert or how to call the adobe using those function modules after that as we are an OData service, we need to send those information to the UI as an output of your OData service, right? So for that, uh, we have we are going to use this media resource uh, standard structure as a reference. So just create a work area, and uh, that reference, this structure has two fields. One is MIME type, one is value. So MIME type is a PDF. I hard coded it, but actually we have to receive the MIME type from the output of your function module which calls your adobe form generally adobe form if you execute it generate a function module right that function module returns the mime type um, through our area and the field name so this is actually a, a field for that particular function module and then value i'm here it's i'm hard coding at application underscore pdf and then uh, the method which we are going to use to send whatever we receive the Adobe to the output of your UI is nothing but sorry output of your URI is nothing but copy data to ref same method which we have used previously as well. And then uh, these are the function modules which we are going to uh, do it in the get stream method. So FP function module name FP job open. And this is the function model which calls the Adobe and FB job close. Okay, so these are very common. Yeah, that's it. These are steps which we are going to follow. Let's get into the system. This is my system. And someone already asked about the fragments of the Adobe with the help of our data service. Probably I will just create one more video, especially for that topic. So this is my system and uh, a simple OData service. Mm, my Adobe is also ready. So if you just go to display, it's it's a simple form. Already we have seen in our previous Adobe videos. So layout.
so nothing big okay so just a layout over here I added it so now go to my Aurica servers if you see the output it's simple it has some values from PO so same issue it's it's opening separately so it, it shows this I'm going to call or I'm going to send this through an auditor servers okay, let's see this in the okay, over here sprint review so here if you see my data model it's very simple okay I don't want to uh, do it again and again as we are good with that so go to the properties or so before that go to the entity type and my entity type is the media enabled and it has two properties uh, MATNR and add form but uh, mostly I used only MATNR okay and that is the key field and if you see my extension DVC extension I have redefined so as I mentioned it's very quick video because already everything in place so I just go through it okay and go to the method redefinition and I redefine the get stream method get into the get stream method and these are the variables which I required especially to hold the Adobe form name output parameters form output doc parameters and stream nothing big and here I'm calling the um, I'm converting the Adobe form uh, as a function model like otherwise I'm getting the function model of the Adobe form using the function model FP function module name and uh, adding few informations to my output parameters no dialog preview is true yes get the PDF and everything and then FP job open uh, it's a process by following or by passing this output parameters as a um, as a value to that function module and then um, I think it should be it's actually I hard coded it instead of hard coder I have to use this name only function name so both are same okay just modify it from your end and this one calls the Adobe my Adobe doesn't have any mandatory parameters so nothing in the export and import yes I'm getting the output from this uh, importing parameter form output and then one of the uh, field or one of the parameter for this work area is it's a work area as pdf so if you double click and here it is if you see the structure yes pdf this the raw string so i want that value to be passed one of the work area which holds the mime type and the value uh, ls string so once i received it i'm going to pass it after job close function module i need to close it and then i'm going to pass the value as whatever i'm getting excuse me the raw string and the mime type is application pdf and then i'm going to use the copy data to a ref method which is going to have a export parameter which carries ls stream and the changing is nothing but er stream so whatever it comes it automatically goes to the er stream so if you see the signature of this method er stream which carries uh, the data whatever we are sending actually we are sending now it's a output of an adobe form so that is going to be carried through er stream parameter it's a one of the signature of the get stream method okay so hope this might be uh, almost this level you're able to understand and this will be useful at least you know how to send a, just an adobe based on the ui request let me run this through the uri so execute so that is y new star okay and this one sap gateway so here uh, go to the entity set you will get a one entity set and you have to give the field for me the mat and r only one is the key field so mat1 oh, probably this one yeah mat1 dollar value <coughs> me. execute and now yeah it's open uh, separately for my system and then open it 
okay so this is a way you have to send an adobe uh, through audio service it's a simple adobe through audio service so far fragments maybe we can see in the next or maybe couple of videos after a couple of videos i try to add one more uh, for especially for this adobe fragments with your data and if you're not using the dollar value it's trying to uh, check your entity method because you're sending the value for a key field so it getting failed because we didn't redefine it so dollar value is required to trigger the get value method okay so hope this video might be useful for you to understand how we, we are able to send an adobe through our data service just go through this if you have any doubt please let me know thank you so much for your time and see you in the next video